earlier this summer, we released a video on Google Ads impression share, what it is, what the metrics mean, and how you can improve it. If you're interested in checking out that video, you can watch it right here. But in that video, I think I alluded to click share, which is also within that competitive metrics section within the Google ads interface. So I want to pay a little bit closer attention to that metric today. I want to talk about what the definition of click share is and where the definition is still a little bit murky and then hop into an account and show you where you can find your click share data and use the metrics in there to analyze how you're doing and track your performance over time. I want to start off in the Google ads help section, talking about the definition of click share in the previous video that I mentioned in the intro about impression share, your impression share is the number of impressions you received divided by the number of eligible impressions that your ad had out of the opportunities it had to show. How often did it show up? Are you showing up every single time you could, or are you only showing up part of the time? Click share is very similar, but rather than talking about impressions, we're talking about clicks, hence the name. As you can see in the first paragraph here, click share is an estimated share of all achievable clicks that you've received. Now, I also mentioned that the definition of click share falls short a little bit. And the biggest place it falls short is this achievable clicks section right there. There's not really a definition anywhere I can find of what is quote an achievable click unquote. So that's where we're left a little bit in the dark, but let's keep going through this and we can kind of get some clues as to what achievable clicks are. So down here, it also says, for example, if you received 60 clicks and your click share is 60%, then it's estimated that there were another 40 clicks that you could have received if you had more extensions, higher bids, higher budgets, or in the case of shopping campaigns, if you showed more products or search queries. Additionally, in this how it works section down here, you can see that similar to impression share, Google ads analyzes the ad auctions over the course of the day and includes all auctions that your ad showed in and the auctions where your ad competed, but did not show. Based on all of these little clues here, effectively the way that click share works is that Google analyzes patterns of how users are engaging on certain results pages and between you and the competitors, as well as other clicks on the page, whether it's going back to the search bar, whether it's going to an organic listing, whatever it is, there is a certain amount of achievable click volume that you can be eligible for. And that's the metric that Google uses. Likely over time, there are certain results pages that have much higher click activity than others. And that type of pattern will be taken into account to give you your click share percentage. So let's get a little further into it. And in this little keep in mind section, there's a couple things to note. First, click share includes all auctions where your ad showed or where your ad was competitive in the auction. So it includes searches where your ad could have shown basically an available impression, but did not. So it could include auctions where your ad could have shown at twice its current bid. This is where impression share and click share come hand in hand because you would have missed out on that impression. You also would have missed out on that click impacting both your impression share and click share. Additionally, click share is an estimate. So small fluctuations over time don't necessarily mean that you need to make a change, just like with any of the other metrics like impression share, any of the quality score metrics, there is a bit of machine learning behind those. So any fluctuations over time don't necessarily mean that something has gone awry. Lastly, your eligible clicks can grow. You might see that the number of your clicks are increasing, but if the number of achievable clicks is also increasing during that same time, your click share could go down because you're not seeing a higher percentage of click share. You're simply seeing a higher volume of click. Now we've seen it a couple of times so far in this section, talking about data availability and where you can get your click share data. Click share is currently only available for performance max campaigns, search shopping and hotel campaigns. Down here, we've got a list of all the different sections within the accounts that you can see it. There is no listing for performance max because there's no hierarchy within those campaigns where a search has a campaign ad group and keyword performance max is just performance max. So you'll be able to see it at the campaign level. Now, before we get into how to improve your click share, let's hop into an account and I'll show you where you can find your click share information. So I'm in one of our actual client accounts. That way you can see some performance data. It's not really going to help in the paid media pros account if there's no actual data to look at. Currently I'm on the all campaigns tab, but all of these campaigns are search campaigns to find the click share data. You just need to come over here to customize columns, click modify, 
And just like with the impression share metrics, we're going to head down to competitive metrics. Here you'll see all of the different sections that we have here. And I'm going to go ahead and add just a couple. So let's add the search impression share, top impression share, and absolute top. And then down here at the bottom is going to be click share. And then I'll just click apply. So now I'm going to need to do a little bit of scrolling off to the side. We can see the four different metrics that I just added. Impression share, top, absolute top, and click share. These are going to be represented pretty much the same way as a percentage. So let's take this top campaign as an example. We have a 13.99% impression share. 12.77% of that is in the top portion of the page. Less than 10% is the absolute top. But then our click share is actually outpacing our impression share. Right now it's at 18.56%. Overall, that still means that 81 to 82% of all achievable clicks are going elsewhere. We are not capturing them in our ad campaigns. Now, before we go too far, I just want to show you that all of the click share metrics are the same at each level within the account. So let's go ahead and click in this campaign. Now we're on the ad groups tab. We would do the exact same thing. Come over to columns, modify, and add click share in the competitive metric section. And now we can see click share for each individual ad group. The same thing would apply for keywords. So let's go in this top ad group. Again, head up to columns, competitive metrics, and add click share available here. There's no difference between the campaign, ad group, or keyword level within the Google Ads account. They're all going to be calculated the same, and you apply them all to the view in the same way as well. I'm just going to hop back to the all campaigns view real quick. And I extended the date range just a little bit so we can have a little bit more data. But one thing that we did mention is that you can monitor your click share performance over time in your Google Ads account. And the way that you would do that is pick a date range that is long enough. So in this example, I just used 30 days. And then you can come into the segment section, use time as your dimension, and then choose the breakdown that you want. For this example, I want to use week. So for this top campaign here, we can now see the click share performance week to week as time has gone on. As you can see here, our click share has actually gone down at the same time that our impression share has also gone down. It's come back up a little bit over the last week, but at some points it was going down quite a bit. This could be from a number of different things. Maybe our ad just wasn't as competitive. Maybe there were more competitors in the space. And you can also see that over time, our click-through rate decreased just a little bit. It was in the 7% range. It's kind of come down to the low sixes, which is going to impact our click share as well. But even though our click-through rate went down week over week from 6.62 to 6.27, our click share actually went up from 12.63% to 16.74. So again, that just tells me that the number of achievable clicks was likely lower during this most recent time period as compared to the last one, because even though our click-through rate was lower, we still saw a higher click share than we did the week before. We've talked about it a little bit through this video, but let's hop back into the help article and see how Google suggests that you improve your click share performance. The first thing is that Google says you need to get impressions before you can get clicks, obviously. So anything you can do to improve your impression share will likely also help you improve your click share. So really quick, here are the ways that Google suggests that you improve your impression share. You can increase your campaign budget. You can increase your bid. You can decrease regional targets, readjust your budget, and improve your ad quality. Out of these, the ones that I've seen end up being the most impactful are going to be increasing your bid and improving your ad quality. Those usually help you get a larger impression share quicker than almost anything, unless you're capped by budget, and that's where increasing your campaign budget can also be useful. But back to click share. Even if you have a high impression share, your click share may still be lower. So increasing your bid and the quality and relevance of your ad by adding extensions or improving its quality can also help get your ad more clicks. Aside from search campaigns, if you're running shopping campaigns, multiple shopping ads from the same advertiser can show at the same time. So if you have multiple ads showing with lots of different products, it will increase the chance of your ads being clicked and will help improve your click share overall for shopping campaigns. When it comes down to it, click share can be a really impactful metric and help you understand what type of share of voice you're having within your search results. And the good news is that a number of the strategies you can use to improve click share also are just going to help your campaigns overall. Use all of the available ad extensions that you can. Make sure that your ad is relevant and appealing and do your best to make sure that you're showing up in the auctions where you're eligible. 
the other areas of trying to increase your budget or get more competitive with your bids, those certainly will help as well. It might feel like they benefit Google maybe a little bit more than you, but it's definitely part of making sure that you're getting a bigger share of voice out of the clicks available on the results page and not just showing up with impressions for the sake of being there. I'll be honest, click share might not be one of the main KPIs that you look at within your account, but it absolutely can help you understand what type of engagement you're getting from potential customers and if you're actually reaching them in a way that's impactful and if you need to adjust your ads to be more competitive or more appealing to drive more business. As I mentioned earlier, the definition of click share is still a little bit murky, but if you have any additional questions, I will do my best to help answer them in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week. So if you want to get notified of when a new one comes out, be sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel.